what got you obsessed with wisdom? I said, being so stupid. And uh, no one's had more stupid days in their life than I have. In fact, I wake up every morning with the thought, and I really do, what am I doing stupid right now? There's never a I thought they was talking about Jesus. He's not talking about Jesus. They said the Holy Spirit. This is on BET. Which means that, believe it or not, they're singing and praying to the devil himself. And smiling about it. One of the things that When did you start writing songs? When I started Said hurting. there's nobody like you. When you hurt inside. How many's ever hurt? You don't lift your hand. I know you're the one bringing all the hurt to, to the rest of us. But pain is a conversation. It's the study of difference. We know that. The difference in accountants, the difference in people, the difference in a moment, the difference in an environment. Wisdom is the study of difference. Time is not a teacher, so wisdom is not the product of years. I've met some people 75 years old, still unsaved, 15-year-old boy saved. So gray hair don't make you smart. You can be 90 and still be stupid. Smile unless you're the one I'm talking about. Time is not a teacher. Sickness is not a teacher. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. We learn wisdom two ways, people in pain. God always sends a voice to correct us, and if we ignore the voice, then he sends pain. Mentors and mistakes. These are the seven laws that I feel like control your success. You must never forget these laws if you want to unlock uncommon success because your success is not up to God. There are 331 references to if, Isaiah 119, if I'm willing and obedient, Leviticus 26, Deuteronomy 28. The Bible is not a book about destiny. It's a book about decisions. I heard a preacher preach one night, another camp meeting, and says, and he was preaching that God's in control of everything. God's in control. And everybody shouted, ran around, danced a little slobbered some fell <laughs> but I went to him after the meeting I said uh, what is God in control of he said everything he said everything that happens was planned by God the will of God is done on the earth and if everything that happens is in God's control. How many has ever heard God was in control of everything? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a fabulous belief. It's so comforting. You know, it removes the burden of decision making, and God gets blamed for everything that happens that way. Sounds like it. I said, so everything that happens is planned by God. I said, he said, yes, yeah, but God, 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 God's in control of everything that happens. I said. So when a man rapes a girl, we can't prosecute it because God was in control. He stared at me. I said, uh, if a man murders somebody, we don't put him in jail because God was in control. Somebody breaks into your house. I'm sure you don't use locks since God's in control. <laughs> if someone breaks it, this is called the anointing of sarcasm, okay? If someone breaks into your house, God was in control, so you don't prosecute him. He said, I hadn't thought about that. 